guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing good. I'd love to say that today's new guitar day, but today's Saturday. I got my new guitar on Monday. I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to make this video yet, so let's get right into it. Obviously, as you can see by the title, my brand new guitar is this 2019 Gibson SG in black. <laughs> If you've been subscribed to me for a while or if you've seen any of my videos before then you know that I pretty much always use this blue Mexican Fender Strat. Um, it's a great guitar, great sounding guitar, it feels great to play. It's only recently that I've started to feel the limitations of the single coil pickups in a, in a recording sense. They're quite noisy and I know I could do something to the pickups or change them to make to get less noisy pickups but I don't really want to because I do actually like how they sound. So I've been thinking about getting a guitar with humbucking pickups for a little while. I'm not really a massive fan of, of Ibanez guitars or PRS, so if I was going to get a humbucking guitar, I was thinking more Gibson. And in terms of Gibson, I'm not a huge fan of Les Pauls purely because I don't find them comfortable to play. The bodies are quite thick and they weigh a ton. So naturally, I gravitated more towards the SG, especially also in terms of Gibson guitars, it's quite a strap light guitar with a double cutaway and the thin body. So for me, this, this was a, the obvious choice. And it's nowhere near as heavy as a Gibson Les Paul. Because as well as doing this, I also play in a wedding band where sometimes I could be playing for over two hours in a night and having a really heavy guitar around my neck for two hours is, is I'm getting old, so that would be really bad for my back. So I'm looking forward to gigging with this guitar. I haven't actually played much of it yet. I've been so busy this week. I haven't really had a chance to pick this guitar up and play it properly. So I'm looking forward to taking it on tour. I'm looking forward to gigging with it. And I'm looking forward to making plenty more videos with this guitar. <laughs> The first thing I noticed about this guitar is the weight. Obviously I've talked about Les Pauls being really heavy, so if there was ever a perfect weight for a guitar I'd pretty much say that this is it. It's not heavy, it's not light, it's just perfectly in the middle. I know a lot of people think that uh, Gibson SG is a top heavy, so sometimes if you wear this with a strap, it might actually fall down. It does a tiny bit, but not really noticeable. It's actually quite comfortable to play stood up. So I have absolutely no issues if it is slightly top heavy, it doesn't matter. I mean, my hand's gonna be on the guitar when I'm playing it anyway, so I'm not really gonna let go of it to fall down. So that's not an issue for me. The main area where I actually think the SG is actually better than the strap is purely in terms of where things are on the guitar. When I play the Strat, my hand's here like that, and the volume control is, is really in the way of my playing, it gets really in the way. That's why I take it off, and then I took the rest off because I thought it looked weird to just not have that. It, ideally, I'd just like the volume to be somewhere else. Also, the selector switch for the pickups. Sometimes if I'm strumming like that, I might accidentally hit the selector switch and switch pickups during a song, which is never good. That's always something that's bothered me but I've kind of just got used to it. Whereas with the Gibson, if my hand's here for playing, all my tone controls and volume controls and selector switch is all the way down here so no issues with that at all. So that's a big plus for the SG. One thing I did notice uh, when I first got this guitar and when I was looking at pictures of it online and reading reviews and stuff like that before I actually got it was the tuners. I noticed that they're not the classic Gibson style, you know, the sort of yellowy, greeny, plasticky looking Gibson style, they're, they're, they're metal ones, so I was a bit worried about that because, you know, metal tuners can be pretty naff at times, but upon actually getting them, they're, they're Grover tuners by the way, I don't know if you could see it on the, on the video, I'll zoom in, but they're Grover tuners, but finally holding the guitar and, you know, obviously using them, they feel really sturdy, they feel really comfortable, so they feel pretty solid, I'm pretty happy with them and I don't think that they're going to give up anytime soon. <laughs> In terms of the setup of this guitar, I haven't actually done anything to it. Originally I thought I might need to do a bit of a setup, a bit of intonation or whatever, but in all honesty it's actually pretty good straight out of the shop. All I've done is change the strings on this so far, put some Ernie Balls on, which are my string choice. 
I did actually restring it differently this time though. I've never actually done this before where you, you put the string through and then you wind it under and then over. I've never done that before, but I watched someone say that's a good thing to do with these style guitars, so I did that. I think it's pretty good. So I'm probably gonna keep doing that. So when I have had this guitar plugged in, I do actually think the pickups sound amazing. They're not too high gain and they're not too soft. Again, I think pretty much everything with this guitar for me is just perfect in the middle. It's not too much of anything or too less of anything. It's just pretty, just right. I feel like Goldilocks and the Three Bears when I'm explaining this. One thing I did notice about this guitar being slightly different is on all the pictures I'd seen, all these tone controls and volumes actually had the silver top with a little indent. Um, and mine obviously doesn't have the silver top ones, they're just black. So I know it's a tiny little thing, but I'm probably gonna swap them out because I feel like this, if you look at it like that, it's, there's just way too much black going on, um, which some people might like, but I, I kind of like the, you know, it, these, these to stand out a bit more. Um, so I'm definitely gonna swap those out at some point. It's not a massive issue, but I'm probably gonna get to that eventually. Another thing which I kind of like and don't like at the same time is that in the, in the pack that came with it, they gave me the rhythm and treble washer sort of switch, which goes over the selector switch there. And it kind of annoys me a little bit that that wasn't on the guitar to start with. I mean, I know it's like a modern sort of thing, but it, who doesn't really want that on the guitar? Is that a common thing? Do most Gibsons come without that actually attached and you have to put it on yourself? I really don't know. I've never had a Gibson before. But personally, I would have liked that to be on the guitar to start with. Um, so then, you know, and then if I could take it off if I want to, but... I, I like it. it, gives it more of that traditional look. So I like the fact that they still gave it you even though it's not on the guitar. I didn't realise that it wasn't on until I found this in, in the packet. Um, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that on fairly soon. Again, it's not a massive issue, but it's something that I'm going to sort out. Now when you buy the 2019 Gibson SGs, uh, I'm pretty sure, or mine did anyway, I'm pretty sure that you don't actually get a hard case with them. You get a soft case, which I thought was a little bit strange considering how much money they are. Um, you'd, you'd expect a hard case. Uh, but I was given a soft case with mine. Uh, I knew that I was going to get that. But then when I actually got given the soft case, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised because in terms of um, soft cases, it's actually quite a good one. A lot better than I was expecting, basically. You know, it's the classic Gibson Brown. You know, it's quite thick as well. You know, it almost looks like a hard case, but it's, it's not. But then when you open it up, I can't really complain at that, to be honest. It's got the, the strap for the neck to keep that in place, make sure it's not sliding about in, in the bag, you know, but it's actually really sturdy. You know, I feel like I could drop the guitar in this and it'd be absolutely fine. I'm definitely not going to put that to the test, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really that bothered, you know, about this. I think the, the, this case alone is about 120, 325 quid for a brand new one of these so I'm actually quite impressed so I'm eating my words a little bit when I was a bit annoyed about not getting a hard case eventually I think I will get a hard case um just because obviously they were a bit more reliable I think but I'm really not complaining at this for the time being I'm quite happy with it so yes it's a bit annoying to get a soft case but when you actually look at it it's not that bad so again that's a, that's a good thing <laughs> In terms of everything that came with the guitar, I got the, the Gibson cleaning cloth, which is definitely going to come in handy because my guitar is black and dust and dirt shows up, and fingerprints especially, show up really easily on the finish of mine, so I'm going to be constantly using this to sort of clean it up. The Allen key, another pipe looking tool, I imagine it's for the truss rod, Phillips head screwdriver on that side, maybe for the bridge. The rhythm and treble switch, which I already showed you. And then just things like the warranty and the, the manual. I actually think the manual has a really great quote in it. Someone I was briefly reading it, and I think this is a brilliant quote. It basically says, your Gibson is a durable instrument. It is likely to outlive you if you take care of it. It's a weird thing to put in a manual, but I agree. Look after your guitar, and it'll probably still be around when you're not. I then have all the specs and the certificate of the guitar signed by the people in the factory and stuff like that. And another little touch, which I thought was really nice, was an actual photograph of my guitar in the factory. I didn't know that Gibson did that. I don't know whether any other guitar companies do that. Never seen it before, but there's my guitar in the factory and 
yeah, I quite, I quite like the fact it's not even just a print out. It's, it's an actual photograph on proper photograph paper. I thought it was a really nice touch from Gibson. Um, I'm going to assume that Gibson, that's a Gibson thing, um, but I really like that, so I'm going to keep hold of that. I think that was great. It also came with a strap, which is this nice black strap, which matches my guitar, obviously. And if you can see, it's got a tiny Gibson logo there. It's not the traditional logo, but it's fine. It still says Gibson. It's a little bit hidden from view behind the actual guitar itself. And if I had it at this side, again, it'd still be quite hidden. I really like this part here of the strap. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a little area to hold a plectrum, a little plectrum holder. So if you're gigging and you know that you're going to probably drop your plectrum at some point, so you need somewhere to put a spare. Voila. So that's really nice. <laughs> So in terms of the negatives with the guitar, I wouldn't really say there's many. Yes, if I stand up with the guitar like that and let go, it's, it's not too bad. It will fall down a little bit, but for the most part, it's fine. My arms are here. I'm, like I said, I'm not really going to be stood like this very often. If I'm stood up with the guitar, I'm going to be holding on to it. So it's not an issue for me. But also in terms of standing up and playing the guitar, obviously the strap being there like that, when I'm stood up here, I want to reach these high frets like up here. My thumb gets caught on the strap and it's hard to actually to reach it. And you know, it's a, it digs into my thumb a little bit there. But again, you know, maybe I could just get a different strap, something a little bit thinner there, which will be not as in my way. So that again, it's not a huge issue. But that's not a complaint, that's just all I've noticed so far. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it for the guitar. It sounds great, it feels great to play, it looks great. Since buying this guitar, I've had people tell me that they're not fans of SGs and how they look and stuff like that, but it doesn't bother me. I like the guitar. I think it looks really nice. So I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Click up here to see another one, down here to subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll see you next time.